Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, November 19, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Our full technical analysis for the commodities market that basically includes all the commodities that are on Etero is available over at Patreon. You can see, find the link down below. And uh, yes, I don't have to say much more than that. That also means that this video is going to be a little bit shorter than normal. But all the technical analysis, full technical analysis for all the commodities uh, on Etero will be available over at Patreon. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have found quite a lot of support down here at uh, 92.28. And at this point, I think that we are going to turn around from here. You'll probably stay around for one more day, but it is probably inevitable that we are going back towards the uh, 50 moving average. And well, if we break the 50 moving average, then we are going to test these highs at 93. Point, uh, 83 and then 94 and then 94.75 after that is the race towards the 200 moving average and that will of course have significant effect on commodities and precious metals and um, usually it is a negative correlation between what happens here in the US dollar index and commodities and precious metals so we'll start by looking at copper so Copper has been rallying quite significantly all the way back here, like three weeks ago at 3.03, and we went all the way up towards the high zero at 3.26. However, I think we're just going to see more of the same in this market. And at this moment, this candlestick here is very bearish. I would not be surprised if we saw something similar to this. So we rallied here a few weeks ago, or half a month or a month ago, all the way down from 2.8, all the way back to 3.2. And then we had a gradual decline towards the 50 moving average. I think we're going to see the similar here. We are going to see a gradual decline down towards the 50 moving average before turning around. If the 50 moving average breaks, then we are going to target these very lows here. Technical indicators for this uh, commodity are fairly negative. The, stochastic, the MACD is turning around, the stochastic has crossed the signal line, CCI is flat, and also the RSI is flat. So there's not a lot of anticipation that this is going to go higher from here. So we'll most likely head towards the 50 moving average. So if you look at gold, We can see that we have tried to rally several times this week, but we are just going to go lower, lower, and lower. Um, if the US dollar index appreciates, which is highly anticipated, then this is going to drop significantly further. And that is also what we are waiting for. There is just a lot of support above here. Also, we have the 50 moving average. But what we are targeting is basically the 1800 level. So 1800 is down here. A fall, uh, fall towards this 1800 level will also coincide with a 200 moving average. And I think that will be enough momentum here in order to get us to um, above the 50 moving average and also in these very highs so of 2100 and also 2200, most likely in the very long run. I'm very bullish when it comes to gold because I know that in order to get the world back to um, a state prior to the coronavirus, we need a lot of stimulus. We need a lot of interaction by, by central banks and that will push this market higher. So if you look at sugar, we can see that we rallied um, we rallied on, on, on Monday quite significantly, pulled back a little bit yesterday, and now we are also pulling back uh, after a short rally. This CCI should be a big warning sign to everybody that are thinking about buying into this market. 
because we can see that the highs here are coinciding with the, this very top of this candlestick. And what we're basically going to see is that this is going to turn around and we are going to head back towards these previous lows here at the zero point uh, 1440. Um, if that breaks, then we are going to test this 50 moving average. However, I think the 50 moving average will basically be around the same level here as, as these previous lows. So no one's just basically buying this at this point because these technical indicators are turning around and are heading back towards the 50 moving average. And that is where you could enter a buy position if that turns around here. So if you look at Kokoa, So this has been probably the most breathtaking move um, this week of all the commodities uh, this week. We have just absolutely destroyed the 200 moving average, the 50 moving average, and now we are heading all the way to these very highs. So we are trading between these highs of 2.7 and between these very lows at 2.0. And at this point, we are skyrocketing all the way up to these very highs. I think that we are going to reach these highs at this point, and then you'll have a lot of sellers coming in uh, and basically pressuring this down towards the 50 moving average again. Uh, whether or not we turn around when we get back to the 50 moving average, that is to be seen, but um, I don't think we will have enough momentum to go all the way through these very highs as well will be significantly overbought at that point. And these technical indicators are also, uh, well, not yet turning around, but when the CCI is creating this shadow here, there is not a lot of uh, days left before it starts turning around. And then you'll see this turn around as well. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to, to see our newest videos. And if you want access to the full technical analysis with all 13 uh, commodities on eToro, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.